back to another reaction of True Blood. This is season one, episode six. Let's get it going, y'all. I'm ready to jump right into this, this episode. Thank you to everybody who has been showing up and showing out. Please hit me with the freebies. That means like, share, and comment down below of this video, as well as check out my other YouTube channel, y'all. I do have another channel, Andres Reacts. The link is down below, so please click that link and subscribe over there, as well as subscribing over here, just in case you have not done so. And if you haven't done so, why the hell not? Now, without further ado, let's jump into True Blood and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Oh, that's right, Grandma's dead. Ew, cat, stop looking at blood. Oh, this is horrible. It's me, it's okay, it's okay, it's me. It's okay. <laughs> Who killed the grandmother? That's fucked up. Oh, it's the dog guy. Get your fucking hands off me. What are you doing here? Bill, it's okay. Let him go. Suki? Now the grandma's dead. Suki hasn't cried once. Suki. Suki. Maybe I could use a little air. I should never have left you alone and lost my temper and I shouldn't have. Do you think you could apologize to me some other time? Thank you. How would you make it better? I'm the one so sorry, so, so scared. Sam, you're out of control. What happened to Bill? Would you stay away from her? You know, Suki doesn't take kindly to people making decisions for her. If anything happens to Suki, I promise, I'll be sure I'm steak with your name on it. Looks like she put up a hell of a fight. Psycho some bitch going after an old lady that way. Just about the sickest thing I ever seen. Nah. Blew her husband's head off while he was watching the game. Big chunks of brain all over the TV. Told you we never should have released Jason Stackhouse. Now come on, this is just what we're uh, talking about. Vampire Bill said that Vampire we... Bill? You on a first name basis with that blood sucker now? I suspect Vampire Bill's been around a dead body or two before. Isn't that right, sir? These two, like, kill it for me for the show. So I'm just gonna be so honest. Were here when she found the body, is that right? So you make a habit of visiting Miss Stackhouse in the middle of the night? We had certain personal matters to discuss. You're saying you heard a car coming from clean across the cemetery? Heightened senses are a common side effect of our condition. A lot of folks wouldn't be too keen on a vampire moving in next door. But Adele Stackhouse, she welcomed you with open arms. Don Green, Adele Stackhouse, they were all very gracious to your, uh, people. Suspect whoever did this is targeting women who associate with vampires. Oh, I don't think Circuit's grandmother was the intended victim. Ooh. I should probably call Jason. Oh, I could do it if you like. Oh, you used to have one of those phones. It's okay, you might want to go sleep. Get a friend, someplace less isolated. I'm not going anywhere. Please, God, I hope she recognizes me at the vampire bar. It looked different, it was dark, but she was facing it. I'm really sorry about your grandmother. Are y'all done in there? Because I'd like to clean up. That's all right. You should not stay here. I agree. You can have my trailer and I'll sleep at the bar. I have to go. Dang, of course. It's almost dawn. I can take it from here. Tucky. Grant took a lot of pride in her home. She wouldn't want anyone to see it like this. I wonder like, if that person has to clean up a murder scene. No, right? I think they do it, right? Didn't she ask for a mop? Oh, hey, that looks great. Why don't you, why don't you put it in the kitchen? so sad. But she hasn't cried a single tear. Nope, she hasn't. Uh, Poor child. I am so sorry for your loss. It's my kind of thing. Have you seen Jason? Is he here yet? How the hell should I know? I ain't his keeper. Oops. Itch. Adele <laughs> was just an angel <laughs> sent from heaven. I don't see any blood. Should have gotten here sooner. Maybe I should have brought my red velvet cake. I'm fine, Arlene. Thanks for coming. Of course. It's the least I could do. Now, if you need help with moving or anything at all, I have fond of memories of this kitchen in the bed once. Oh, what a good way to look at it. <laughs> Maxine Fortenberry, you put that pie down right now! This is Grand's pie! Now excuse us. I need Suki upstairs. Don't you be sorry for yelling at that snoopy old bitch. She's been sticking her nose where it don't belong for years. Grand's gone. She's really gone. Can't even think straight. Well, of course you can't. How can you with all these circling buzzards? 
I'm not sure I'm feeling anything. I'm just numb. Numb is good. Thank you for getting me out of there. I haven't had a single minute of silence. Can't seem to block anything out right now. You want me to tell them all to shut the hell up? This is not drugs. This is just a volume. What, do you mind taking this downstairs for me? Oh, God, it was my life. Holy shit. This ain't no good. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm late. What you doing here? My job. Man, I'm so sorry. About what? Since you ran away from that rehab brand paid for. I don't even know how to get hold of her. Bill did not kill my grandmother. Don't you get all mad at me. Right. Nobody's blaming Bill. Exactly. Tara, last night was so horrible. I don't know how I would have gotten through it if it weren't for Bill. Jason. Whoa! <laughs> your fault! Grand's dead because of you. Should have been you! You ought to be ashamed of yourself! Is that how your grandma raised you to beat on your own sister? Get the hell out of here. Get out! Get out! Oh, I kind of feel bad. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. Back out. Need to ask you a few questions. Not now, Andy. Where were you last night? Oh, my God. God, this guy is so annoying. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Andy? Are you saying I killed my grandmother? <laughs> You're annoying. You're a stupid bitch, Jason Stackhouse. Well, you know, Jason, he work out a lot. He real strong. What the hell are you all staring at? You heard me, the side show's over. Now get, let's go. Well, if there's anything I can do, you call me. Thank you, You're fam. You're a good friend. Bye, fam. Get the fuck out of here. So you don't need no bad juju cooking. Bad juju? Smell this. You can smell the, the fear and gnashiness coming off that corn bread. Bitch, you gonna wish you ain't did that. <laughs> Watch. Rest in peace to him, I didn't know he died. <laughs> What's really happening? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what's wrong? Yeah, he jumped it. I thought. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You go back to sleep. Bye. Uh -huh. Gotta go. Love that. Go to sleep. It's okay. You think they're capable of loving a person? Who knows what they're capable of? There's a dog. I wanna know who this what this dog is. Falling for you and for me. Girl, I thought she was gonna continue about to just drop dead myself. <laughs> Lord, we gather here today to remember the life of Adele Stackhouse. To celebrate the time that she enjoyed here on Earth. Uncle Bartlett, what are you doing here? She was my sister. Give the guy a break. Adele Stackhouse was everything to me. Oh, please. If it were for you, she'd still be alive. She was a good girl. I guess you know. She was always there. The kind word. And a hot meal. Do you see it? All of you just shut the fuck up! I would not want that power. Well, I got something to say. Who? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> she was nothing but kind to me. She was a good, God-fearing woman. My daughter would go stay with her. I always knew she'd be just fine. Dale Stackhouse took care of my baby when I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I'll always be grateful for that. Go ahead, tell me how it's all my fault. Tell me how you wish it were me in that coffin. I deserve it. I'm sorry. I invited Uncle Bartlett. How could you do that? He has a right to be here. Girl, well, we've got We've got nothing. Ooh. This is actually really sad. <laughs> you know, you should come to our next descendants of the glorious dead meeting. That's some kind of support group thing. Hi, baby. This is my precious daughter, Tara. We've met like a hundred times too many. Excuse us. Because uh -huh. the last time I saw you, you were beating my head in with a bottle. Oh, sweet Jesus. She was more of a mother to me than you ever were. She took care of me. She fed me. She called social services on you twice. You hated her guts. No. That wasn't me that said those things. Just because you were too drunk to remember don't mean it never happened. Please, baby. I have a demon inside of me. What? Don't you laugh at the devil, Tara, man. Because <laughs> he's as serious as cancer. I'm sorry. 
I try and do right. I try so hard, but it breaks me down. I want to be the mama you deserve. I can make up for everything. I can. I gotta get it out of me. And it's very expensive. Don't walk away from me. I am still your mama. <laughs> I need you. She's an alcoholic. She has no more money. Yeah. He's still doing it. I was like, is he tripping off that one? Shit. Uh. I was looking for you. Mom, you found me. I liked your speech. Thanks. What I heard of it anyway. Oh. Especially like the part where you told the whole town to shut the fuck up. So how about you take a bath? I found a some stupid movie on TV, some aliens. I need to be alone. She said she wants to be alone. Well, I don't. So they're gonna sleep together? I never had pecan pie. I don't think I want to. It's actually super real, like when you can't cry and then you're alone, you just break down. Hey, Roger. <laughs> Come on, you gotta admit it has a certain charm. You live here? Uh huh? This is really where you live? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam, this is really where I live. What's your staying with Lafayette? Yeah. I was. Do you know he has a webcam in his bathroom? Uh -huh. You told me you needed somewhere to stay. Oh. Why? So you can ride up on your white horse and save me. You think maybe I have bad self-esteem? Maybe it's the only way I know how to express my real feelings. I should go. Could you relax? I was only teasing. Maybe I'm sick of being teased. Stay. I want something real in my life. Don't you, you think I don't? Don't you like suck it? We do this. We really did this. So do you have any feelings towards um her? Because you just like suck it. <laughs> Two, let's do it. I love you. I gotta go. What just happened? Did I do something? It's not about you. I'm sorry. <sighs> Is something wrong? You gotta bite you, it's okay. Hi, Bill. What short teeth you have? Better to suck you with, sucker. I knew you could. When you care. When you care. I want you to. We're done with that episode. I actually really did enjoy this episode. This episode was making me want to cry. I laughed a couple of times. Um, the standout characters for me, believe it or not, was Suki. Suki, 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 Suki. She definitely brought all of the emotions in this episode. I'm telling you, I actually was tearing watching her. It came this realistic thing where at first I was like, she's not even crying. And then I realized, that the actress is showing you. Like, she's so shocked in this moment that she couldn't release what she was feeling until later on when she was alone eating her grandmother's pie. Now, I have to say something. I think that happened with my aunt. I always go back to my aunt. The reason why I have main, one of the main reasons why I have a YouTube channel. And when my aunt passed from the pandemic, right away, I didn't cry. Because I was like, what? It's such a shocking thing, which I'm sure everybody has been through in their life at least once, where somebody that you just spoke to, somebody that you just saw, and then the next thing you know, they're no longer here. So, when Suki was sitting there eating her pie, 
and starting to like cry as she's alone. That's exactly what happened with me, minus the pie, because my aunt didn't make pie. Um, <laughs> I forgot what it was that I saw something, maybe it was a song, I think it was a song. It was, okay, as crazy as my sound, but it's not crazy. But my aunt was like, loved the Fugees, if you guys know the Fugees, and she loved Lauren Hill. So I think I put on like a Lauren Hill song, and child, I'm telling you, I bought, I was, I couldn't, I could not control my emotions. I was destroyed. Um, even thinking about it now is dreadful. So, um, I understand what, I understood her emotions and I connected with Suki in this episode. Like, truly I did. Then when her brother came and slapped the holy hell out of her, like we saw like the promised land after he slapped her. And I was like, derm. But I also wanted to start crying there too because I felt his anger where he did, like he's on this V thing. He doesn't know where to place his anger and he found out late. Everybody else knew but him, honey. Everybody else knew but him. And he didn't know where to direct that anger and he slapped her to the promised land. And then she came right back and took a Valium. Um, and then also to connect with Suki is, not only does she lose her grandmother, she can hear what everybody says. And nobody's nice. <laughs> like, nobody's nice. If you have the power to hear what people said about you, can you even, or just hear what people said, but let's tune it down and tune it back to just hear what they think about you. Dreadful. I, I honestly would probably turn to the devil myself. I would have gone to Bill and been like, bring me Bill. And then once I turn to vampire, I am cutting up. Off with your head. I'm telling you, that's what I would do. Um, so the standout character for me was Suki, Jason Stackhouse, Lafayette, and Tara. Um, shout out to them. They did their big ones. I didn't know Lafayette himself. The man played Lafayette, he died. He died in, I think, I don't wanna say the 90s. If it wasn't the 90s, it was the early 2000s, I believe. And I think that I read it, he died from cancer. Um, let's not be a liar. Should we not be a liar, y'all? You know, I'm very quick with the hands and the um, Lafayette, uh, what is this show called? True Blood. Oh no, I don't wanna do it on this. Oh, oh damn you. Um, he died. How did he die? How did he die? How did he die? How did he die? Um, heart failure. He died um, of heart failure. And, oh, he struggled with drug and alcohol abuse for many years. The exact circumstance of Ellis, his name is Ellis, Nelson Ellis, I believe that's how you pronounce it, were shared by Matt. Uh, his death was a result of heart failure following an attempt to quit drinking on his own. Wow. You know, I have to say something. You know that's how Amy Winehouse died, right? When you drink too much, when you become an alcoholic and then you try to quit on your own, you're trying to do the good thing, you always end up, you always die. That's why if you have a drinking problem, please seek help, professional help, and go get off of it. Drinking or any other, like, uh, drug abuse or anything like that. Seek help, but do it professionally. And you obviously with professionals, they wean you off of it slowly because your your body can't handle all that. Very sad. That definitely happened to Amy Winehouse too. And she died of heart attack too. Um, regardless, this episode was very impactful. My least two favorite characters are these, these cop things. I hope that they don't come in season two. And if they do, like, ugh, I just, the less is better. Like, I've never thought I could tell you this, like, less is more at this point. I don't like them. They always throw me off of my game. I'm always into the show, and then they come. They're both super annoying. I don't even think they're good actors. They're dreadful. Especially the older guy. He's worse than the other one. The older man, like, literally is like, he should not be on the show. I don't know how he got on the show. Um, I'm gonna read him for filth. I'm sorry if you like him. Oh, well. He's not a good actor. Like, he's not a good actor. And for this to be in, when did this show come out? This show came out in... 2008, okay, well, there's that. Um, he would have made it, if this show came out now, he would have not been casted. Or, and he was like the same person, same age, etc. He's just not a good actor. And listen, I'm not saying I'm the best actor, I'm just saying 
I could give a better performance than that old man. He was, he is just not good. He sounds like he's reading off a paper. He has no emotions. He's literally, like he literally, I don't know how, um, who is the director? Oh, they didn't want to put their name on there. The production, Your Face Goes Entertainment, Homebox, Office, HBO. You guys seem to really like look at the people you're casting. Ooh, dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Um, how many more episodes do we have to? <laughs> Somebody's typing ferociously down below. Um, we have only a few more episodes to go, about five more episodes to go, and then we're wrapping up season one, getting into season two. I know you guys are super excited for us to get into Buffy the Vampire Slayer as well as Supernatural, because we'll be doing that very soon in April, most likely probably pr the, towards the ending of April is what I feel. I could be lying. I could be lying to you. I don't know when I'm going to do it. But um, that's going to be another one of the shows. I'm taking each, by the way, <laughs> let me sit up for this. I'm taking each, sh each of these long ass shows. This has how many seasons? This has six seasons. Oh, maybe more. Seven. I'm taking all, I just want y'all to know, because I don't want there to be no confusion to all it. When the views stop viewing, the likes stop liking, and the comments stop commenting, darling. I dropped sh like a bad habit. So if it's, it's season one, it seems like everybody wants is into season one. So we're gonna keep going, okay? Once we get to season two, depending on how you guys rock, how you guys feel, um, then th <laughs> you know how you know how a, a station will discontinue us. I used to stop within the the season. I'll just stop the shows altogether. From now, my my promise to myself the promise i'm trying to keep to myself is once i'm in the show even if the show isn't like good i want to finish the season but then if, it, if the views weren't viewing in that season i'm stopping i'm not going anymore so and that's i know other people are like i know a lot of people a lot of people they will say you know once i start something i did see somebody write that no well when i start a show um i generally finish it all the way through yeah the thing is got you here the thing is, I watch the show and then I have to rewatch at the episode and then rewatch the episode again to edit the episode to push it out and to make sure it's not getting copyrighted. And then nine out of ten YouTube copyrights the whole damn thing. So one of these episodes takes me about two, three hours to actually put be able to put out, and that's only for twenty minutes. So I'm telling you, it is so quick. I don't know how all the content creators do it. I tell you, I give them all a standing ovation, absolutely. But for me. It's quick. I'm like, oh, yes, I don't got to edit this no more. Like, as good as it might get be, if I really want to continue on to the story, I'd rather just watch it on my own and call it a day because the lack of people wanting to be here and me and them rather me move on to other content. So where I edit it and I put it out and they're here and they're tuned and they like it, that's what I do it. That's what makes me feel good. But if people just don't want to watch it, why would I continue on the you, if, does that make any sense? I mean, time is money, honey. <laughs> so, anyways, um, this episode was really good. I just want to clarify that because I'm a very different reactor. Um, but this is a very good episode, very powerful. I think I would give this episode an uh, ooh, maybe an 8.5. I think it was more than an 8, but it wasn't a 9. Does that make sense? So I think this episode for me was an 8.5, and I really can't wait for us to continue on to the next episode, which is called Burning House of Love. Everybody sleep with everybody, um, and we still don't know what's going on with this dog. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time, and if you want to see this with a full reaction, clearly you know I didn't say it in my intro, I'll say in my outro. The link down below to Patreon is available, so please click that link. Become a Patreon family member today. Please give me with the freebies. Like, share, and comment down below. I'll see you all next time with more reactions. <laughs>